Good afternoon and welcome to a financial awareness meeting that will be presented by Charles, who is a good friend of mine. As you may be aware Charles is a chief executive officer of a leading major bank. Thank you Tony. Last time I gave a presentation to you was on the 9th of April 2012. Andreas, Tony has told me that you have been away in Greece and have now rejoined the senior management team. That is correct. I went to Greece in December of last year to help my family who have really suffered with the economic collapse. It is very tough in Greece. Indeed many people do not have any idea how bad it is. I understand that the euro has been saved. Spain has had a 100 euro bailout from the European Central Bank. The stock market is rising. There is optimism from the politicians in Spain. Tony it seems that you have been wrong with all your doom and gloom. Does anyone else share Steve's optimism? Yes, the worst is over. There is good news all around. I shall be upgrading my iPhone 4S to an iPhone 5 when it is released later on this year. I am going to be blunt. Steve and Tracy, you just don't have a clue on what's going on within the Western global economies. Well said Charles, we need some straight talking. Far too many people have no clue at all as to how bad the situation is. The stock market is rising, and the Spanish Prime Minister is optimistic. Who are you to claim that the markets and the Spanish Prime Minister have got it wrong? Okay, before we go any further, let's have a look at the following clip. I have directed Secretary Connolly to suspend temporarily the convertibility of the dollar into gold or other reserve assets except in amounts and conditions determined to be in the interest of monetary stability and in the best interest of the United States. 1971 was the year our problems started. The debt-based fractional reserve fiat monetary system was a vehicle to loan far too much money into existence. In the next few months we will start to witness the collapse of the debt-based monetary system. Central banks will try to prop up the system with quantitative easing but unfortunately it will not work. Charles, it's people like you who talk the economy down that cause people to become pessimistic. Steve, I am a chief executive officer of a leading bank. I know what I am talking about. I know the game is rigged. I know that the debt-based financial model was mathematically unsustainable. Steve, get real. You need to look at the big picture and become a critical thinker. We need to get used to the fact that a major depression is upon us. Be prepared for the new reality. Thank you, George. I have just received some news that the Spanish 10-year bond yields have just passed the critical 7% mark. We are in for some stormy times ahead, no matter how politicians dress up the problem. Reality always catches up.